Playboy Carty fans, myself included, Jesus Christ, the news that we all knew was happening sooner rather than later, actually. I think most of us had this kind of, you know, in the back of our heads that this is going to happen, but it's been confirmed now by Playboy Carty's camp, um, Opium, everybody, and obviously Kuroku have got the fucking link on there. It says the antagonist tour that was meant to start in November in Europe and December has been postponed has been postponed officially antagonist tour featuring playboy carty king castle destroy lonely homicide gang everybody on opium has been postponed until the foreseeable future which again is no surprise um for most playboy carty fans i think if you're a fan of carty similar if you're a fan of flipping yay you just know that it's always going to be disappointment and l's and postponements and scrapping of dates and promising and never following through and now we've basically got that confirmed to us the tour is meant to start in november has been officially postponed most likely for the foreseeable future and we know what the reason is isn't it these guys are just too lit. They're making too much money. Um, they're doing way too well. They've got the fucking youth in their palm of their hands. Like you, you have to think of Playboy Carti and Opium in general. Just a, no, play, more Playboy Carti. He's really unique in his position, more so even than Lil Uzi Vert, and more so even than I don't know Yai and Twenty One Savage. Those same people that he was doing the fucking yeah, maybe that that same kind of group of people, right? That he kind of came up with. I don't want to say the cipher because he wasn't in that cipher, but. He's in a unique position because he's one of the only ones in that group who doesn't really have to drop very frequently to keep his fans engaged. Like no fan of Carti is going to jump on to somebody else just because he's taking long to release or just because he cancels certain things that like they're still going to be there. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those, he has those worst fan bases where they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So he can afford to take chances, go on a break, do this whole mysterious thing, and they're not really going to go anywhere. Where the other ones, you think they are more in the artist grind, like they can't afford to take time off. Like they have to kind of keep putting out stuff and hope the fans don't go anywhere because, you know, that's basically the game that they're in. So maybe he take that for granted. Or the other part of it might just be, Carty's lit in it. He's probably out getting high, you know, God forbid he might be doing some other hardcore drugs and not just the party drugs. And, you know, sometimes those things get a hold of you and you 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 get in your little goon room, you close the blinds, you invite fucking, uh, you know, all these fucking baddies around, you get their phones, you put them in a bowl somewhere outside of the room, get them to sign NDAs and you just go crazy. you got eight balls and perks and everything all over the place. you got everything that you need. You're richer than you've ever been. You're in your mid-20s, like... You're probably just enjoying the trappings of your fucking lifestyle. And then by the time you realize, you're like, oh shit, the tour's about to start, isn't it? I gotta start rehearsing. I gotta start going all the fucking final plans. Cause probably, I'd imagine his agent or his manager is probably hitting him up to kind of confirm details. Like, hey, we need to confirm this shit with this venue. Are we gonna go here? What sort of stuff do we need for the set design? Um, the fucking merch, all this, you know, the little fucking things, the details you need to kind of, you know, you need to dot your eyes, cr cross your T's. And he was like, you know what? Fuck all this, man. I can't be bothered, man. Fuck this. I got a couple of fucking baddies in my room or in my hotel suite or in my house. I've got fucking Onyx, you know, um, playing in the fucking room next door <laughs> by himself. <laughs> I've got a table full of fucking, you know, rails of fucking coke lined up, perks lined up, MDMA, Molly, weed, lean by the fucking truckload right i've got them in bowls so you can actually like a, he's got lean in the bowl like a punch bowl that you can scoop your cup into and just kind of drink from there <laughs> he's already thinking i don't need this man don't but bun this i'm out and then he just decides to jump off and then kind of do something else i'm not it won't surprise me um that have happened it's not going to be ticket sales because this is a very anticipated fucking tour it's got everybody in the scene now who's really kind of pushing culture forward especially the first three in carty ken carson and fucking destroy lonely homicide gang are still coming up i saw actually they just dropped an album recently that's fucking banger i think it's like what's it called that like the second amendment or something i think that's what the album's called is it the second amendment just double yeah that's no sorry the, the fifth amendment um my favorite track on there has to be fucking b5 oh Bumba. But yeah, um Antagonist tour um was very, very anticipated. Carty obviously hasn't dropped in a while, so everyone's kind of anticipating to hear what he's going to be performing live, new tracks, just a performance overall. Um, you know, just seeing them perform live together would be fucking sick. Do you know what I mean? Having King Castle, destroy lonely homicide gang of the openers, plus whoever else is gonna join them, uh, you know, locally and stuff to fill up the fucking lineup would be fucking sick. The fucking the set design would have been great, the show itself would have been great, the stage 
sorry, the the backup dancers who always had some really cool ones, the visuals, all that stuff would have been fucking sick. But unfortunately, it's all been postponed and there's probably not going to be any update on this until middle of next year. Don't be surprised. Or according to fucking academics, the actual update is this, which I'm very, very doubtful on. I'm, I'm pressing exit doubt on this one. This is courtesy of DJ Academics. I guess Carti decided to give him some information to put out there. Official press release says Carti Antagonist Tour UK and Europe dates rescheduled allegedly. We haven't got rescheduled dates. It's been postponed. We haven't got rescheduled dates. New album is coming soon. So no dates on the rescheduling. No, no dates on this supposed album coming soon. Opium signees, Ken Cards Show Lonely, said to support the tour. So just repeating the same thing. So not really much of it was a press tour. You don't really get much information. But he put out an official press release via car, via academics to appease the fans and also gave the fans a new picture of himself, right? Um, in, in wearing some hockey gloves with a Anna Bolina headscarf. Um, what you call it? What do you call, what do you call them again? Do rag that it's an it's a do-rag with the logo that looks like a parental advisory logo but obviously it's from this designer called Anna Bellina and whatever we're meant to I don't know what we're meant to take from this it is what it is he's got hockey gear on now I guess Carty's in his fucking hockey goalie era NHL hockey yeah NHL Carty or something I'm not sure how this is meant to appease the fans because we want a show we want an album we want a product but it is disappointing but also not utterly surprising I think even Ye fans who were hoping that he was going to do that performance uh um, Ty and Ye performance in fucking Italy and dropped the album. That hasn't happened. That got pers- that got cancelled actually last minute. They booked the venue. Like according to some Ye accounts, that 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 show was on the go. I'm thinking even one Ye account actually person bought a ticket to go. He bought a ticket to go to some where was the location? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna say it wasn't like a main city. It was like a smaller. Maybe it was a main city, but it was like kind of out in the outskirts. So it was like in the middle of nowhere, a little bit. And some hardcore fan bought a ticket to go um, to this event that Ye was going to do with Ty Dollar Sign to promote their collaboration album. And then at the last minute, the whole thing got scrapped, and we still haven't got no dates for it yet. We've seen pictures of Ye out in the middle of flipping what is it Dubai or Qatar somewhere like that in this amazing, you know, resort or hotel place that's in the middle of the desert looks fucking beautiful and allegedly he's making music there who knows but if you're a fan of Ye and then you got into car you should be no surprised these guys you know are a bit um temperamental very unreliable and most likely whenever they put a date out there it's not really going to be the date they're going to put stuff out you just have to hope it comes out when it comes out and if it does come out it's going to come out super super late so um don't hold your breath for the uk tour rescheduling um when it happens it happens don't hold your breath for the new album release date when it happens it happens it's really a big shame really to be honest because i was looking forward to it i was definitely going to go to the uk tour i was obviously looking forward to that tour probably leading up to announcing of the new album but now we have absolutely no details we don't know what's going on we're all kind of having to hope and pray that something does happen and then you know maybe we'll see that <laughs> we'll see these guys perform in the uk sometime soon but for the meantime i guess you can listen to your len you can listen to your um figgy mina whatever that guy's name is listen to your fucking lancy foes and shit to kind of you know occupy you for the time being there's another kid too i've I discovered recently on twitter who's really good i got a kid called dom Collio. he's pretty sick um there's gonna be some other stuff dropping up soon so just keep an eye on those type of dudes who drop regularly and also you know what i liked actually the, the kid Leroy album was actually really good it's called the first time and i actually really enjoyed that so there's plenty of people out there you could probably be listening to in the time being and hope maybe the guys that we love, you know, the car easy castles, the fucking destroy lonies, homicide gangs, all those guys. We're hoping we can see them on tour soon and that will lead to a Carty album. But don't hold your breath. Do not hold your breath, please, because you might end up passing. 